hi everyone and welcome back so in this video what we are going to do is let's uh, build it let's design our database so we already designed decided our architecture and uh, these are the steps we are going to perform we already have baseline our repository now what we are going to do is we will talk about okay creating this next JS application but before that let's create a database schema and run the migrations and bootstrap our tables in the Postgres okay so let's uh, define the entities which we are going to see in the booking domain so first i will just draw the the user entity and then we will define the the properties relationships and all sort of stuff so user entity i can uh, define there is a property or the the hotel or uh, the entity which is going to provide accommodation right and the booking because user will be doing a booking and a review you can say notification review payment and message because you can also message once you are doing the booking or once you have finished the booking and the notification i'm not going to make it uh, too much complex so i'm going to keep the entities simplified so user entity property so property is all about uh, the hotel uh, all about the hotel and the amenities it is providing it can have many sub tables if you wanted to manage the the hotel features the property features then okay it provides a wi-fi it provides all sort of amenities all those can be managed in a different table booking so booking is all about okay making uh, the record of okay who is the user who is the guest and which is the property and what is a check in check out date so it's like a the whole booking uh, centralized booking platform right in the review it's like if you wanted to add some review for the property once which you have already stayed in so you can add a review on the user id property property id user id and the rating and the comment right that's a review host entity host is like the same user entity i'm talking about so in the user or the host okay because i think the type here is the different it can be user type which can be a guest and it can be a host right guest means i am looking for accommodation host means i am providing this uh, accommodation service and apart from that the additional attributes will be the name email password phone number mobile number and all sort of stuff so that is your uh, user entity which can act as a guest or as a host in the payment payment will be made against a booking so here is we are doing a booking so payment will be done against a booking id you can do a payment date um, guest id booking id and property id also you can mention okay you did the payment for this booking id which is done for this property and for this user i think booking already has this uh, property id so you don't need to repeat it again so payment will have a user id like the guest id and you can also add a if there is a host host id guest id and then the booking id that gives you the whole summary okay this is the property which is booked by this user and managed by this host review entity uh, we already talked about payments payments is all about payment date booking id message entity because there is a sender id and there is a receiver id and then there is a booking id because i am sending a message my booking is done now i wanted to get some confirmation okay okay this hotel provide this service or not okay this hotel provide this kind of service or not that kind of confirmation i wanted to know that is like you can send a message against a booking the notification is all about okay content message user id booking id timestamp status red and red it's like a chat right so these are the entities which i see uh, broadly now what we, what we need to do is create a db diagram database relationship diagram the same diagram which we can use in our prisma schema okay so let's try to design our database so what i'm going to do is i'm going to create these tables okay we have a table user which has a type right type is a string which can be guest and a host so 
so that is a string then there is a username email password first of all id uh, which is a string uuid then we have a name So I will just try to create this user table. So name will have a name, email ID, password. I will try to zoom this a little bit so you can see things clearly. So we have a name, email, name, email, password, and maybe a phone number created at and type. Okay, this is my user entity. And uh, then we have a property so property has a property id which is i'm going to use a uuid for everything i'm going to keep id string and couple of properties i can copy so id title location type amenities all sort of uh, properties i'm going to add here okay so the additional columns we have here in on the property is uh, let's say rating which is integer or what else location images or thumbnails which is going to be an object array but that's fine for now thumbnails as a string title location type post id okay because post id is it will also be a booking.com platform user who is going to manage this so it's going to be a user id relationship so okay amenities this is going to be a json b what else we need to have the number of rooms uh, maximum guests capacity all sort of stuff we can add so this is uh, for the user and then there is a property then booking let's say this is my booking okay inside a booking table i will have a id which is of type string and then we have all sort of relationship user id which is string okay then uh, user id property id because this is the relationship we are going to have property id is also of type string then checking that this is of type date is it supporting a date type check in date check out date and let's say the price which you need to pay it's integer and a booking status that is of type string okay so three tables and then you can have another table which is a payment i'm just going to define the entities and their relationships payment that will have a payment id which is a id and then there is a booking id against which you are doing a payment payment id booking id property we don't need to mention amount is of type integer payment status let's say that's a string payment status okay this is pretty much we have i we can have a date also created at okay this is the payment because payment you are doing against a booking so we have booking id and you can also add a guest id who is doing a payment okay so now review and all let's have a final table then we can skip the other tables and discuss the relationship here so this is the review table so review will be done again review will be done by user right so you need a user id for that who is doing a review for a booking and uh, you are doing a review for a property id 
because you are not doing a review against a booking you did the booking you stayed in the hotel now you wanted to rate it so this is id and the rating which is of type string there can be an, a number of questions which you wanted to answer okay so let's say these are the tables okay now we will start in the from the property reference property dot user id property dot id now we need to just see how the relationships we are we are defining sorry uh, user dot id inside a user table there is an id that is going to be a foreign key here in the booking booking dot user id okay let me just remove this and try to see if this is loaded okay the relationships are now reloading so now another relationship we have is reference what do i have inside a booking we have property id so property dot id property dot id is a foreign key in inside this property id okay two relationships where wherever you see underscore id we need to define that then there is a host id right inside a property user dot id is also inside okay inside the property okay this is sorted now i will zoom this thing so property id uh, is a foreign key inside a booking dot property id so we already got the host covered now in the payment payment also has some relationships let's cover them so payment has a booking id and a user id so we'll starting with the booking booking dot id is a foreign key inside a payment table payment dot booking id okay sorted so then we have a user dot id is also as a guest id inside this this is also fixed then we have a review i guess that's also covered property dot id so in property we have okay that is covered user ids as a host id and inside a review system